Hey everybody, my name is Keith Garner. I'm a consultant with DeploymentLive.com and today I want to show you the easy way to add drivers for your device into the MTT Light Touch console. This is a part two of our series. Part one was about how to install device drivers into your WinPE uh, image for Light Touch. But right now we're going to discuss how to import them for any particular device. And one of the things we're going to be using is the Dell driver catalog. The Dell driver catalog is great because it has an XML file that lists all the driver packs. Of course, Dell packages up uh, driver packs for consumption into MDT, Light Touch, and Configuration Manager so that you can deploy Windows to almost any developed uh, Dell device, current device out there, which is great. But we want to use that to import into MDT Light Touch. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we have a PowerShell script here, uh, install Dell driver catalog. I, again, I like using the verbose switch. And let's go ahead and run that here. Uh, it'll automatically go out and determine which MTT deployment share you have, download the Dell driver catalog, extract out, and parse it. Now, there are a lot of drivers here. So what we do is we display this out in using a PowerShell tool commandlet called out grid view. Out grid view will display um, the uh, available objects, in this case from the XML file, in a form that we can select. We can select a couple of different devices. We can hold down the control key and select several. But let's go ahead and select a couple of small packages here. The Dell Latitude uh, 2110 for Windows 7 and the Dell Latitude, let's see which of them this is, E5500 for Windows 7 as well. Uh, there are small driver packages, and uh, we can go ahead and click on those and run it. From that, we for the driver catalog we selected, it will automatically go out, download each driver cab, extract out the contents, and import it into MDT. I'm going to do a quick pause and we'll come back to see what happens when it's done. And we're back. It's been about 14 minutes to download driver packs for both the 2110 and for the E5500. It's quite a long time. It, uh, these driver packs can get pretty big. So to give yourself a lot of time in order to do this, one of the advantages of the this uh, script is that it allows you to queue up a couple of uh, 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 batches of uh, installs in order to uh, automate that in the background. But right now it went ahead and downloaded each driver cab, extra automatically extracted out the uh, results, and automatically is now importing them into MDT. One of the inter interesting things about the um, driver cabs here is that it tries to, it will actually place it according to uh, the make and model that we're importing. We're going to be using the, what my good friend Johan mentioned, is the uh, uh, total control method of device driver management. Let's go into the deployment share and take a look at what actually got imported and how it was imported. Now we have out-of-box drivers. In addition to our uh, Dell WinPE, x86 and Dell wouldn't be x64, we now have a Windows 7. As you remember, we only imported Windows 7 x86. The make uh, is a Dell Incorporated and a Latitude E5500 and a Latitude 2110. There are several drivers in here, and that's great. Now, reminder that when you run Power, PowerShell, if we were to PowerShell uh, has, of course, online help available for uh, each commandlet, but you can also run help for a particular driver script. In this, this, in this case, the driver script is fully functional with uh, 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 the, the, uh, the online help system built into PowerShell. But in the bottom, do remember that uh, we do have a note that we should use um, driver selection profile equals nothing, and that the driver group should correspond to your make and model. So in your task sequence, go ahead and add, uh, uh, set a task sequence environment variable to driver group equals 01, and then whatever corresponding uh, operating system entry you're, you're doing. 
But that's about it. That's really what is most of the steps involved in creating your device driver um, environment using the MDT Light Touch console.